Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. Comedians open cards! It's Comedians Opening Cards, and I'm here in the Vermont uh, Comedy Club. It's a Wednesday open mic, and I'm here with Paul Tenney. I've seen him do uh, stand-up many times. He's hilarious. He uh, likes to talk about his sexual exploits sometimes. <laughs> yes, I've had a few. <laughs> Just speak up, because we've got some background right, stuff. Well, I've had a few, so yeah, I do talk about that. And, and my rather large family. All right, so we got a bunch of cards. What do you, do you see anything you're interested in? Uh, Hopefully. I'm like intrigued by them all. Yeah, there a lot of them are fun. It's a it's a good it's a good time. Uh, Almost everyone has enjoyed it. Yeah. A couple comedians, right. I, you know. I do three's company. Just oh. I haven't thought about that in forever. Yeah. Did you watch that show a lot? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I've seen them all. Right. Because they had, they changed, they changed the girl, they changed Susan Summers, and they changed the guy, the uh, Roper guy downstairs. Yeah, he switched. The landlord and the roommate, but they were all interchangeable. Right. There's apparently the like, Mr. Roper, the wife, that lady who was like kind of cool. There's a whole like group of people who dress up like her and meet together, and like are it's like a feminist group of Mrs. Ropers, which I want to go to because that would be <laughs> insane. But she was like the least feminist person ever. She well, was. I don't know. If I rewatch the show, I don't know. Because I'll have to rewatch it now knowing that fact. Because I haven't seen it in 20 years. I just remember her being like sex hungry and her husband was just like not. Right. I think maybe that's what the women are getting at. Because <laughs> they're older women who yeah. probably are in the same circumstance. Sorry so about that. Looking for here? So you just, all you do is you point the key, the, here's the camera, you just point a card at this, like, like there's Joyce DeWitt. Maybe you know something, maybe you, like, oh, she was funny, or I don't know. Um, Whatever strikes you. Well, you know, this Jack with, plus he's one of the funniest, oh my God. Oh. Underrated. 100%. One of the funniest Ritter. comic actors. John Ritter? Yes, Skin Deep. Yep. It was a movie with him where he played a writer, but he had a sex problem. Oh, I don't know that one. And he just wound up, he kept banging chicks, and he wound up, sure. he banged Zap from American Gladiators. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, dude, he had sex. And he had one scene where he had these glow in the uh, dark rubbers, and the other guy had one, and they were having like a dick fight <laughs> in the dark. It's a, one of the funniest, and it's all wow. about addiction and alcoholism, and, right, right, right. which I love. And, you know, with the ropers. Right? And that whole premise of that show, as I recall, was Jack pretending to be gay. Right. So he could live with two women. Right. Who shared a room. Like, that wasn't gay. Um, the two women. Right. right. That was perfectly fine. Yes, because no one is offended by that at that time. Well, at least they were in single beds, you know, like, uh, like uh, Desi and Lucy were way back when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do I want to think about? I just... That, I don't know. That show was just... That was the whole conceit, right? That, yeah. That Jack was pretending to be gay when he was straight and the total horn dog. Right. And there was just some, every show was some sort of miscommunication. There was exactly. some, and the whole gig was that. Well, but that's a sitcom. Every sitcom is a miscommunication that laughs in Sue. Yeah. I mean, again, I don't know if it stands up, but I mean, it was, it, I, I loved it as a little kid, but maybe I just, as a, I probably liked looking at Suzanne Summers' boobs, you know, <laughs> as a like adolescent, because I was probably, you know, like 12 or ish or whatever. Yeah. That was 70s, I don't know. Yeah, 70s, early 80s. It was, uh, it was Tuesday night, I do remember that. Oh, wow, you remember the day. Well, I have one of those kind of TV guides. guide. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My whole life sometimes, when I was a fat, faggot teenager, revolved around the TV schedule and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've certainly lost weight. <laughs> and you're no longer a teen. You got one of the three, which is probably the best of the three to have. All right, well, thanks for pointing that out, but you know. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, wow, now I feel like I should have picked the Sesame Street. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you went with that one. And uh, I mean, that's all. This, the show's letting out, so maybe that's it. Maybe that's what we do. Uh, Paul, was it? Paul. 
Penny. Do you have like a thing I'm or anything? On Instagram at DPXEIV. At DPXEIV. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's my initials. It dates back to my AOL handle way back when. Right, right, started. right. You can keep them if you want. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Paul. Hey, that was you. fun. <laughs> Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much.